Hi, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop. I'm probably right. In today's video, we will be recapping the first week of the WNBA 2024 season. On Tuesday, May 14th, the WNBA kicked off its eagerly anticipated season with a packed schedule of four games. The New York Liberty faced off against the Washington Mystics. Indiana Fever would face off against Connecticut Suns. Phoenix Mercury would face off against Las Vegas Aces. And Minnesota Lynx would face off against Seattle Storm. Indiana Fever versus Connecticut Suns game was aired on ESPN2. The reports show viewership peaked at 2.3 million viewers for the game between the Fever and the Sun. The most for a WNBA game since 2001, while also competing with the NBA playoff game between the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers, which was aired on ESPN. To put this in perspective, the average NBA game viewership is around 1.6 million views. The WNBA has had sold out games carrying over from the preseason and into the first week with several sold out games. The Fever games were sold out, the Sky game was sold out, and the Aces game were sold out. Reports came out earlier of at least four teams selling out of their season tickets, Atlanta being one of them, Aces, and, and Dallas Wings. This is a great time to be a WNBA franchise owner. Let's talk about the product. Let's talk about the teams. The Las Vegas Aces picked up where they left off, coming into this season with a chip on their shoulder, even though they are the defending champions with their mantra, Aces against everybody. The New York Liberty, the team that was in the battle for the championship and should have won it, kind of squander it in the end, will definitely have something to say about who's going to take home the chip this year. The Las Vegas Aces is 2-0 and and the New York Liberty is 3-0. and Another battle brewing between these two teams is the race for MVP. I know it's early in the season, but this has spilled over from last season. The players are going to battle early. First game out, Asia Wilson put up 30 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and 3 blocks. Brianna Stewart in her first game out put up 31 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks. This is going to be a great battle. And if it's anything like last year, it's going to be a tough decision. But along with the Liberty and the Aces, the Connecticut Sun wants to have something to say about who takes home the chip this year. The Connecticut Sun is 2-0. and The Minnesota Lynx, a very sneaky team, is also 2-8. and The Atlanta Dream made a lot of trades over the offseason to try and get into that race as well. There are some sneaky good teams like the Chicago Sky, with new head coach Teresa Witherspoon and hustle player Angel Reese, the LA Sparks with their plethora of shooters and the Dallas Wings with Enrique would also like to have something to say about the chip race. The rookie impact on the WNBA is being felt on the court and beyond. Indiana Fever's rookie, Caitlin Clark, has played three games averaging 32 minutes, 17 points, 4.3 rebounds, 5.7 assists, and one steal. Clark is shooting 32.1% from three and is perfect from the free throw line. In the three games played, turnovers and early foul troubles have been a significant issue for Clark. For context, the Fever have played against two of the best three teams in the WNBA. In addition, the short WNBA training camp did not give her much time to gel with her team and the game's overall pace. I fully expect the turnovers to decrease tremendously. In other words, nothing to worry about for Clark. The team struggles will have to be in another video, so stay tuned. Chicago Sky's rookie Angel Reese has played two games averaging 25 minutes, 11.5 points, 8.5 rebounds, 1.5 assists, and one steal. The foul collection is an early issue that Reese will need to work on. LA rookie Cameron Brink, a promising talent, has played two games averaging 22 and a half minutes, 7 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 0.5 steals. She has shown she has a sixth sense for blocking shots, averaging 3.5 a game. In her last game, she had in her last game, she had 5 blocked shots. That's in one game. Foul collection is a big issue for Cameron, which she also had in college. Cameron and her coaches will have to work diligently to improve this area. Aces rookie Kate Martin exudes confidence. 
so much so that her team has allowed her to play 26 minutes in her first outing. Kate Martin in that game averaged three points, five rebounds, three assists. Another LA Spark rookie, Rakia Jackson, also played two games, averaging 20 minutes, 10 points, two rebounds, and a steal. Rakia has been sneaky good for LA with her cuts to the basket for easy layups and her ability to knock down the three ball. And we cannot end this video without talking about the trends the WNBA players are setting with their fashion game at the pregame shows. Enjoy. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe to help us grow the channel. See you in the next video.